So let's get right into it here. This is the home screen of QuickBooks Point of Sale. We have a lot of different options here. It's a little overwhelming at first. It's no problem really though. You'll be spending most of your time on just a few of the screens in Point of Sale. So let's head on to the Make a Sale screen. This is the Make a Sale screen. In the white area here is where your items are going to populate on a sale when you're ringing them in with a barcode scanner probably. I do not have a barcode scanner so I'll be typing them in. We can just pretend. Alright, we got a football. We've got some figure skates. And we got sports team logo shirt. This is of course practice mode where everything is all about sports. So, we've rung up three different items. You'll see some options here where you can give quantity, price, and discount on each item. Uh, you can up the quantity to three or you can just take it right off there if the customer has changed their mind. Um, you can also go searching for your items if you don't have a barcode on it. Uh, you can look through there or you can just type in the name of something, baseball, etc. Uh, importantly, we have the customer name or phone number that you might want to type in here to track different customers as well as that uh, goes into the rewards program if you decide to turn that on. So we'll say that uh, Brian Cook is buying these three things. There's Brian Cook. Uh, importantly we would want to put their email address in there if you decide to do some constant contact marketing. You can send out specials on constant contact. Uh, this left hand side here we got some blue buttons. Uh, you can have quick pick items if you have a touch screen monitor. That's pretty easy. You just go, you know, just hit the items on a quick basis. Um, you might want to div give a discount to the entire receipt right here or accept a return. Uh, you may want to specify which cashier or associate is doing the sale so that they can get their proper commissions. Down at the bottom here I'm going to direct your attention to our payment methods. We have cash, pretty easy. You know, If we hit cash we can, uh, oh this customer has rewards. That's covered in a different video by the way. Uh, you can check out our channel and find that video. We're going to save these rewards for later. Now they owe 210.69. We can say exact amount, dollar amount, add tens and twenties, etc. Uh, we can take credit cards here. If you want to process credit cards in your QuickBooks POS, go ahead and give a call. We'll go ahead and set up that Intuit Merchant account so you can get rolling with your credit card processing. Uh, we got checks here. Not a lot of places take checks anymore, and you can disable that if you want to. We've got different uh, gift card and gift certificate for promotional value there. And then there's account, and that's pretty much like uh, some, giving somebody a tab. And maybe you want to collect that tab at the end of the month, or maybe it's an ongoing project that they're doing, and you're just racking up uh, all the different sales for their project, and they just want to take care of it all at once. And, uh, and you know them and trust them, of course. So, that's all your payment methods there. Of course, uh, you're going to have customers who are going to be fumbling around and not know uh, what they're doing, and they want to go back in the store, and they forgot something. So you can put your receipt on hold, ring somebody else up, and then go back to held receipts and choose Brian Cook. We're going to unhold his receipt and get back to selling him his stuff once he got that other thing out of the store. So that's pretty much a broad overview of the make sale screen where you'll spend most of your time. I'm going to discard and go back to the home screen. Uh, of course you're probably going to want to set up departments so you can track sales by department. Uh, you can do a lot of different reports in here that would probably take up a whole video all by themselves. Uh, let me just hit up the report menu. Got sales reports, best and worst sellers, cash drawers, e out reports, different payments, different customers, what they're doing, layaways. Uh, you can track them by zip code, uh, purchasing, etc. So um, I'm going to jump over to our customer list here. So this is our customer list. You can go ahead and look through the customer list and find different people and all their information that you had recorded at one time. Um, now related to the make sales screen is your sales history. 
because of course you want to be able to go back to last Tuesday and figure out uh, what happened on this one sale because maybe it got screwed up or something. That's that. Um, you can do customer custom orders if they're trying to get something that's not in your store. Um, that would roll over to purchase orders. Now let's talk about purchasing. That's a very important thing for any retail store. In purchasing, you're going to make purchase orders. You're going to send them to your vendors so that you can stock your shelves with all your items. Uh, you're going to create purchase orders and when the truck rolls in, you're going to receive those with receiving vouchers and that's going to put all of the items that were on your purchase order into your inventory. So that's pretty much the broad overview of that. You can also look at receiving history to see when things came in. Uh, one awesome feature we got here in point of sale is on your item list, on your different items, you can set uh, reorder thresholds. And what that does is when different things are getting low, you can go on your purchasing menu and say suggest a PO. And it'll actually tell you what you need to order instead of you keeping it straight in your head what's getting low. That's right, QuickBooks Point of Sale will tell you what to order from your vendors because it's getting low. Uh, also, you have different things that you can do with your employees. You can have them clock in and clock out for payroll. You can look at their times and their clocking in. Uh, you can set different rights for your employees to have access to different things or not. Maybe you don't want the lowly cashier to have access to uh, all of your sales reports and cash drawer and stuff. All right here we have our item list. Of course you can go through and check out what you got, what you've got on hand quantity for different things, um, all the different types of items you have. Um, you can jump straight from here to make a sale or receive items. Of course you can use this screen uh, to print out tags and do a number of different things as need to be done for your item inventory. Of course very important on your inventory list, uh, maybe you want to add a new item. Mostly I tell people to add items when they're making a uh, purchase order and so then the item will be made for when it's actually coming into the store, but you can do it right here if you run across something miscellaneous. Now there's a lot of different options in QuickBooks Point of Sale, but before I let you go, I'm going to tell you that uh, it completely integrates with QuickBooks. That's right, QuickBooks Accounting. So instead of having a point of sale system and an accounting system and having to go from one to the other and enter all the different financial details of your sales day, into QuickBooks, you can actually just do your end of day and have it automatically update your QuickBooks accounting. That's right, it will shoot all the financial data right into QuickBooks accounting and you're done. You, you hardly have to do accounting because uh, all you need to do is deposit stuff in your bank, all the financials come from QuickBooks point of sale over to QuickBooks accounting, and it is as easy as that. So, my name is Peter. Thanks for coming along on this little tour, QuickBooks Point of Sale.